Hi, in this video, you will learn how to load data from SQL Server to Amazon Redshift. In order to use this pattern, go to the Patterns catalog and under the Project folder, you'll find SQL Server Redshift Loader pattern. Before you use this pattern, make sure to whitelist certain IP addresses listed by the Amazon Redshift Getting Started Guide. The IP addresses are listed on the first page of the pipeline configuration wizard when you open up this pattern for the very first time. Now let's open the SQL Server Select Snap. You'll have to go to the Accounts tab to add an account or drop down to find the SQL Server that's already listed. Once you have done that, go ahead and save it and close the snap. And let's go to the Redshift bulk load snap and do the same thing. Add the account or use a pre-existing account that's already listed and then save and close. Let's go back to the SQL Server Select Snap and modify the settings. What you'll have to do is label the snap, add the schema name, the table name and the where clause on where you would find the table. Once you have done that, go ahead and save it and close and go back to the Redshift snap. What we want to do here is similar. Add the public name and the table name where you want the data to be loaded into on Redshift. Then save and then close. Once you have done that, go ahead and validate the pipeline. The pipeline will turn into light green once it's validated. And now you can go ahead and execute. Once it's executed successfully, the pipeline will turn green. And now you can go into your Redshift account and see the data that's loaded from SQL Server. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit community.snaplogic.com.